Hello and welcome to this week's show. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing great. Do you want to display information from your Arduino to your computer's monitor? One common method of doing this is using the print function from the serial library. In this week's episode, we're going to complete our discussion of the print function. Here's a brief overview of exactly what we'll be talking about in this lesson. We'll show how to adjust the number of decimal points that you display with the print function. We'll talk about adjusting the format that gets displayed with the print function. We'll talk about formatting the output with tabs. And finally, we'll talk about the difference between the print and print line functions. So last week, we talked about sending integer values using the print function to the serial port so that we could see them on the serial monitor. But what if we want to do that with decimals? Let's jump into the code that we worked with last week and go ahead and change some stuff up. So I've changed the data type of cool factor to a float, which essentially is giving it a decimal point. And then I've changed the value to 3.141592. So it's got a bunch of decimal points. Now we can go ahead and upload this and let's take a look at what it looks like on the serial port. All right, so we can see that it's incrementing, but notice that it's only giving us two spots after the decimal point. The reason it only shows two decimal points is because that's the default that the print function normally displays. But it's easy to change that. The print function actually, actually takes a second parameter. When we're sending a decimal number, that second parameter specifies the number of spaces you want to show after the decimal point. So let's go ahead and put the number four after here. So the first number, again, the first argument we pass is the number that we're going to display. And the second argument that we pass is going to specify the number of spaces after the decimal point to display. So let's go ahead and upload this and take a look at the serial monitor. All right, so we sent the number four, and now we can see we are seeing four decimal points being displayed after the value. So that's pretty easy to do. Now the print function allows us to specify the format of the output also. So by default, the output format is in decimal. So that's base 10, you know, like 0 to 9, 10 to 100, base 10, you know, kind of what most of us are common to. But there's all other types of bases, like base 2, for example, which would be binary. So here, I want the cool factor number to be specified in the binary format. So I'm going to change cool factor back to 10 and make it an integer again. Let's go ahead and upload this and then take a look at it on the serial monitor. So now we can see the value being sent to the serial port is binary and we can change this to hex or octal. I don't personally use these too often. The binary, I think, could be potentially useful. I can't say I've personally used it before, but it's good to know that you know there are some other parameters that you can specify. Now, sometimes you'll want to send text to the serial monitor to kind of help format what it is you want to show. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So here what I'm doing is I'm printing the words cool factor equals. And then after that, the actual value of cool factor will get printed. Notice that I've got quotes around cool factor equals, and that's because I want that to be sent as text. If I got rid of the quotes, the compiler would be looking for, you know, variables cool and factor and equal, and it would, it would create errors. So you got to put the quotes around it so it knows, hey, this is meant to be interpreted as text. So let's go ahead and upload this and take a look at how that looks. So now we can see it, it shows cool factor equals. Another thing we can do to format the text output is to include a tab, so which is just spacing our, our text that gets output. So that's with the forward slash T. And now we can see we've inserted a tab between each output. It kind of gives us some nice spacing, some formatting. So the last thing we'll talk about is the print line function. And the only real difference between the print and the print line function is that the print line function starts a new line at the end of its output. So let's go ahead and get rid of this tab and then I'll just turn this print into a print line and that's just print ln. Let's go ahead and upload it and then let's look at the serial monitor. So here you can see all the data being output is the same. 
except that now after the program has finished writing the value of cool factor it starts a new line down here and so this again is just another way of kind of formatting the output text so I hope this lesson was helpful for you to kind of show you how to use the print function some of the intricacies of the print function looking at some of the different parameters that you can use the print and first print line that type of thing if you found this lesson useful I'd be happy for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel we've got a ton of other tutorials uh, like this one also if you're interested in getting kind of a crash course in coding Arduino and understanding the hardware you can go to the open source hardware group website we actually have a free 12 part course that you can sign up to uh, we also offer a premium Arduino course it's kind of meant to help you master all of the programming and hardware part of the Arduino. So you're welcome to check that out, that out also. Well, again, that's it. I really appreciate your time. In next week's episode, we're going to look at some interesting ways that we can use a print function to create some really kind of cool outputs. Look forward to seeing you then.